So I'm in Hawaii, the water is beautiful. So we traveled um, all morning from California to Hawaii. Not that far for, you know, compared to some of you guys. But anyway, uh, flight went smooth. We got here and uh, hung out in the resort and um, did a little bit of shopping. And I wanted to uh, get wet, so came down to the lagoon, did a little bit of snorkeling out here um, at the ocean right now. And um, just kind of hanging out here with my uh, DJI Osmo Action. Don't even know how the audio is going to sound since I'm just using the camera's audio. So um, anyway, I thought I would just uh, film a quick little shot. Don't even know how to use this footage, but bringing you guys along like I said I would. All right, well, what better way to start off than with the sea turtles? Um, actually, if you stay till close to the end of this video or yeah, right around the end of the video, you will actually see some underwater footage where I got a chance to swim with these amazing, uh, amazing creatures, these sea turtles. So um, they do have rules about how close you can get to them, but I did get uh, about as close as I was able to get, and uh, you will get to see some really cool footage. Um, very enjoyable. I'm not a, a reptile person, obviously, but um, they are in the water, and I enjoy all things aquatic, and uh, it was really, really neat to interact with these guys. So one of the things that we did that was really fun is we took this um, trimaran, it's like a catamaran, but with three holes. And uh, so we uh, went out and um, we, you know, paid for this uh, snorkeling adventure and they feed you lunch and everything. And uh, you get to go out and uh, go to some really cool spots that really aren't accessible um, by vehicle. So um, this was actually this really interesting and historical um, kind of a bay um, on, uh, in the, on the big island of Hawaii. Um, there's a lot of history there that goes back to the ancient Hawaiians, but the snorkeling was amazing. It was crystal clear, as you can see. Um, the water's really deep, so down there at the bottom, I'm going to say it was around maybe 20 feet or so. I did have to um, dive down to the bottom one time to uh, help retrieve uh, a lost uh, snorkel and mask. And uh, it was about as deep as I was comfortable going with just uh, with just a snorkel on. It was a lot of pressure on the ears and everything, but really beautiful, um, really clear, and uh, not a whole lot of people. There were some chartered boats out there and some stuff like that, but uh, overall, you were really able to enjoy the snorkeling without being around a bunch of people. And again, because you're getting there on a boat and not going there, um, you know, on a vehicle through a beach or something like that, it was less crowded. Um, you know, just the normal fish that you see in a lot of uh, reefs around the world or around Hawaii, obviously. Um, but still really enjoyable to be able to swim and uh, dive down. And uh, the water was so warm, crystal clear. Um, one of the things that was really interesting here, and you'll see here in a short little bit, was how the water dropped off. So here you can see, so this is the edge of the reef and over there to the right, the, the ocean basically just starts like it just drops down to like a couple hundred feet or something like that so obviously you want to stay um, over on the reef side there's a cool little pupper that I saw and there's just a lot of other interesting things um, I love snorkeling it's like my favorite thing to do when I'm anywhere warm where I can get in the ocean now we're going to switch gears a little bit and uh, I'm, this is fish related so I'm hiking um, to a place called Akaka Falls and uh, there's my wife, Mrs. Tazawa Tanks. You're on camera. And uh, she's walking Hi. in front of me. But uh, anyway, so this is just a beautiful um, waterfall on the wet side of the island. Um, it's kind of like a tropical rainforest, and they have these waterfalls. What's really interesting about these waterfalls is um, there is a Gobi that, uh, so Hawaii doesn't really have uh, very many uh, indigenous freshwater fish. So most of the freshwater fish that you see are fish that were introduced by people, but there are some fish that are freshwater fish. And uh, the fish that um, they have um, on the Big Island here is a goby that actually swims up these amazingly tall waterfalls. So uh, this is the hike to one of the famous falls, it's called Akaka Falls, and there you can see it there. Um, I'm not quite sure the height, but it's, you know, it's very, very tall, as you can see. Um, here in the footage, it's uh, quite the uh, plunge down to the bottom. So imagine a little fish that's probably like, uh, I don't know, four or five inches long, 
climbing up that waterfall to spawn. So what happens is the, um, the males and females of this species will actually swim upstream. They'll get to a pool like this and they'll say, all right, let's climb. And they'll actually climb all the way up this fall and the other falls like this, there are other falls in the area. And there you can see a picture of this, what the male looks like. And uh, here I'll show you what the female looks like. Um, obviously not as colorful, but they actually go up to the top of the fall. They go to these different pools um, at the tops of the falls where they spawn. And uh, once the fry hatch, the fry are then carried downstream and they go out into the ocean. Um, and then they kind of repeat the process. So kind of like, um, you know, kind of if you think about like salmon spawning where they will swim upstream and you'll see them like, you know, swim up, you know, fish ladders and across streets and stuff. Um, very similar, it's just that they are actually climbing up these sheer cliffs essentially. So if you know my mudskippers from my fish room, you can see they have those little, um, they're not feet, they're their fins, but they kind of can walk on them and that's how they climb. Now, this is an interesting thing. So I, I did want to get some footage here. These are actually some tilapia. These tilapia are actually living in pretty salty water. It's brackish to, it's kind of brackish, salty. How do I know? I stuck my finger in the water and stuck it in my mouth. Truth, that's a true story. But anyway, what you can see here is that these tilapia are spawning in these um, little pits. So kind of like um, African cichlids in the rift lakes. Um, that will spawn by making these little um, circle, little nesting areas. They were doing the same thing in these uh, little pool areas. So this is just some little pools or ponds that are very near the ocean. It is a mixture of fresh water and salt water. And they're full of these tilapia that are doing this little spawning thing. I'm not quite sure what species of tilapia they are. I did ask the people that work there. They didn't know. I want to say Mozambique or something. Now this is another little area that I like to go snorkeling. It's, um, it is a public beach, but it's um, kind of a hidden part of the public beach that not a, lot of, not a lot of people go to. Less people go to this beach than the other beach, which is down the road. Um, so I'm not going to tell you the name because I don't want to spoil it, but um, it's, it is a fun uh, snorkeling area and uh, it's you know great for kids and adults etc but um, I did I did want to sneak over here and do a little snorkeling. I, I went to this place um, a couple of times on our trip and you know did lots of snorkeling and then obviously just snorkeling in other areas as well but uh, every place that I go snorkeling you can you know really see a different um, I don't want to say a biotope, but you'll see it get a different kind of reef where, you know, some of them are more coral, some of them are more rock, and you'll see different types of fish with different behavior. So it is really interesting to uh, go out and um, see some of these fish, obviously, in their natural habitat. And um, so no snorkeling trip, no trip to Hawaii is, uh, is uh, complete without getting a uh, shot of the state uh, fish, the humuhumu nuku nuku apua. So now we are swimming with the sea turtle as I promised. So this is actually in one of the lagoons that was by the resort or at the resort. Um, and, and the sea turtles kind of swim in and out. This is the same, um, that giant pool at the beginning of the video where you saw the dolphins swimming. It's that same area. So uh, there are several turtles that will kind of swim in and out as they choose and they'll just eat and graze and do their thing. And then you can get close as you're allowed to get. Obviously you can't touch them, you can't disturb them. Um, so I was staying several feet away and making sure that I gave the turtle some space, but I tried to uh, get as close as I could and get some footage to share with you guys. So um, really, really neat, very graceful animal. And uh, I will get a, I'll, I'm trying to catch up now. So I'm not wearing any fins. I'm just swimming uh, free. Uh, just with my, my hands and feet and a snorkel, so um, obviously I'm not as fast as a turtle. So I had to kind of swim a little faster to catch up and the turtles kind of stopped there and took a gulp of breath. But um, really, really neat to swim with these guys. I've done it before. Um, in fact, the very first time that I went to Hawaii when I was a little kid back in the 1980s, um, I swam with a turtle and that was just kind of probably how I fell in love with the ocean. Um, really, really majestic animals and uh, very enjoyable.
I thought this was pretty interesting. So this is actually one of the kind of pools or lagoons outside of our hotel room. And uh, these are called milkfish. There's another name for them. I think it's like Sava or something like that. But they're milkfish. And they're huge. At first I thought they were like sharks or something. They were like four or five feet long. And um, they actually are algae eaters. So they put them in here to help keep the lagoons clean and free of algae. And if they don't get all the algae, then there are workers that also get the algae. Well, Fish Friends, it's been a week and uh, it's time to go home today. Um, just wanted to go for one last swim and snorkel in the lagoon. And uh, hopefully you guys liked this short little video. I don't know how short it's going to be, but uh, relatively short, I guess. Um, I didn't take a whole lot of footage just because I didn't want to drag my camera around all over, the, all over the island. So I pretty much just traveled with my iPhone and my DJI Osmo Action, which I'm using right now, the underwater camera. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll catch you on the next one.